Chevrolet. I wish I would have been able to make a video. I probably was when I was in California dumping the rust. There's no antifreeze in this thing. It's just pure rust. And I flushed this thing at least 12, 15 times. And I've run several pint bottles of rust neutralizer cleaner. What did I put through it? Peak Super Cleaner and Flush. Blue Devil Radiator Flush. Prestone Flush and Cleaner. Junk. I found one on Amazon and I can't show it to you because I can't do two things on my phone. YouTube will stop and post or try to post. So I'm going to dump the rust. But this is the 15th flush and I've flushed this thing with gallons and gallons and gallons of water. It's kind of greenish. I guess it's a good thing. There's one on Amazon that people swear is so potent that the smell will kill you. There's not a lot of rust left in this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the Prestone flush tear and stick the garden hose in there. But how am I going to make the video? Hmm. I need a phone holder and a white reflective screen to get rid of the shadows. I've done this so many times. I was using gallon jugs on my trip in Burlington, Colorado, or wherever the heck we were. Green River, Utah. So now I'll put the lower hose back on, and then I'll flush it backwards, forwards, and sideways. But, how am I gonna show you what I'm doing? Because I don't have a whole phone holder upper phone folder. Yeah, the battery strap. Where am I working? Right over out of range. Hmm. In a second. Right there. These heater hoses, air conditioning hoses are hard. So I'm going to stick the garden hose inside. Well, not inside, but up against it. I don't have that little adapter piece. At least I can't find it. Sometimes I can get it to seal pretty well. And the water is going to come up, bubble up through here. And we'll see what it looks like. So I'm going to buy this flush on Amazon. Instead of these three or four or five dollar flushes, I'm going to buy a fifteen dollar one, which is supposed to strip everything clean. Which I should have done at the beginning, but I was on a trip. And you think finding a garden hose is easy <laughs> when you're on a trip? Yeah. Found one in a hotel, and the manager called the cops, even though the owner had passed by a few minutes earlier and he didn't say anything. So the next thing you know, the police are rushing up. Turn that off! You're flushing antifreeze into the ditch! I said, no, I'm not. It's rust. There hasn't been any antifreeze this thing in years. Had there been, it wouldn't need to be flushed. But it's running relatively clear. A little bit of slime in there, but not much. I've done this several times. Whoop, don't splash me, bro. They sell an adapter for this, and I have one somewhere. There we go. I got it sealed up. Look at that. Just like German gasket surfaces. Perfectly mated. Oh, here comes the warm water. I've got this hooked up to the hot water side of the plumbing system. So I'm going to flush it. And then I'm going to put this stuff in I'm going to buy from Amazon for 15 bucks. I forget the name of it. Like I said, I can't stop the YouTube. I can pause it, but if I go to a different screen, it, it uh, ends the video. It won't stay paused. You should have seen the rust. Well, you can see the remainders or leftovers. It's the dried rust powder. I can't believe this thing still has a functioning air pump and the power clamp. One screw's busted off. The air conditioning is broken. This hose is bent and broken. I could just put a muffler receiver dryer on and fix that, but it needs a new air conditioning compressor, like the one on the Cadillac. I've got inside seized, or almost seized. Mm -mm -mm. So once I get this all flushed, I'll put some coolant in it, get as much rust out of the system as possible. I've wasted my time doing multiple flushes with these impotent, lame radiator, radiator flushes. This one on Amazon. One guy made a complaint to the company that the smell wouldn't go away. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing, even though you flushed it multiple times with fresh water. 
I've got a commercial water main on this building, so I can use 8,000 gallons for the price of zero. I pay 70 bucks a month for water and sewer. That's the minimum charge, 8,000 gallons, I think it is. So I've got to change my ball valve, gate valve, remove the gate valve underneath the meter, have them turn off the water at the street. And you do that first thing in the morning in case you have a problem, and I'm going to be doing roofing, I think. I've got roofing to do, roof. Yeah, both sides, I'm half done. It's starting to run a little clearer. This truck's got some interesting equipment. It's got pause attraction with a bit of a howl in the differential. It's got a newer starter. The alternator looks kind of old. It's got the air pump and the air injection reaction, California emissions. I've got the heat riser disconnected so it defaults to the open position so I'm not forcing warm air under the carburetor. Heavy duty air cleaner, air conditioning, power windows, power locks, power tailgate. They all came with the automatic overdrive transmission, which was rebuilt. And maybe I'll take off the air cleaner and adjust the uh, throttle valve cable and make it think I'm giving more throttle because at light, light, light throttle, it shifts adequately, acceptably, but even at light, even at medium throttle or heavy throttle, it's got a lurch bump shift, which I suspect means it's not getting enough pressure. And that's how you alter the pressure with the throttle valve. So let me show you that. Pause this for a second and pull the air cleaner and show you what I'm talking about. All right, I've got my heavy duty air cleaner spark arrestor removed. Folding rear seat, front color keyed floor mats, air conditioning, rear axle 308. My diesel's got a 373, I think 342 is standard. Engine oil cooler, never seen that before. It's pretty nicely done. in there somewhere. Engine oil cooler. 5.7 liter V8 instead of the 5 liter 31 gallon fuel tank, rally wheels, heavy duty battery, AM FM stereo, no 8 track and no CB, no cassette, heavy duty transmission, heavy duty transmission oil cooler, Silverado equipment, 31, 10, 50, 15, 19, midnight black, deep tinted glass, electric, Tailgate, intermittent windshield wipers, exterior below eye tint, locking differential, G80, electronic speed control, four speed automatic trans, comfort tilt, halogen high beams. What, what do these things come with? An SM465 or a three speed on the tree? I've seen a pickup truck with a three speed on the tree. Comfort tilt steering, halogen high beam headlamps, quartz electric clock, weight distributing, weight distributing platform, plate, platform. Spare tire, 31250, California emissions. Operating convenience group, which is power windows, power locks, tilt steering, cruise control. Exterior decor package, front quad shocks. Saddle tan, custom interior. Yeah, it's got the quad shocks, which a lot of the half tons have. And very few of the three quarters. That one's got it also. This one doesn't have G80. It's got the quad front shocks. It's got the slide.